Hi everyone, I'm Benita and today I'm going to be talking about something very important. It's about sleep. Now most of us lead busy urban lives and 24 hours don't seem enough to do all the things we want to do and most of us compromise on our sleep and we all know that sleeping enough is very very important for our health but today I wanted to go a little bit into details about why it's important for us. Uh, so that I'm going to be talking about sleep from two points of views. One from the point of view of Ayurveda and one from the point of view of modern science. So as per Ayurveda, uh, it is recommended to sleep during a kapha time. Kapha, as you may know, is a period of the day where the energy is very heavy and dense and it's supportive for going to sleep. There are other times of the day as well, like Vata and Gupta. They're not just body types or dosha types in people. Even the day is divided into Kapha, Vata and Gupta. So the Kapha time is supposed to be the best for falling asleep and staying asleep. So that time ideally is about 10 p.m. at night. Now, from as per modern science, it is said that every hour of sleep before midnight is equivalent to two after midnight. Style. If we fix a time that works for us, which we can go to bed consistently by, it really helps the body. The body clock gets more in tune and just because we have electricity, we tend to push ourselves and sleep much later every day. And what tends to happen is our body gets overtired, over fatigued. We tend to be on screens, uh, whether it's TV, phone, tab. And the blue light, which comes from the electric devices, do not help our bodies to wind down. We need to do activities which are calming, like listening to music or reading some light book or doing some pranayam or light meditation so that we can get into the sleep mode and wind down. It's recommended one hour before we go to sleep, we shouldn't be on a gadget or watching television. Uh, also, uh, avoiding alcohol and caffeine a few hours before bedtime also helps because these interfere with getting good quality sleep. Massaging and applying a bit of sesame oil on our temples and our feet are really helpful because they tend to soothe us. It's something I personally like to do, uh, using a bit of sesame oil on my feet and hands before going to bed. Melatonin is a hormone which is made by a pineal gland which is found around here in the center around the center of our eyebrows the tone in production reduces and stops after there is daylight which means we only have certain amount of hours in the night when melatonin can be produced and we all know when we are not awake on our own without an alarm when we absolutely have to have an alarm every morning to wake up it means that we haven't got enough sleep. One of the signs to know that you've got enough sleep is waking up at a regular hour without an alarm and feeling fresh. And because we don't feel fresh, we feel the need to reach out to a cup of tea or a cup of coffee to kickstart our day. And actually that jars our nervous system. We don't need that first thing in the morning. And honestly, if we get a good night's sleep and you're well rested, you'll realize the tea and coffee is not needed just to wake up. Yes, it is habit forming and most of us have it out of habit. But when you start tweaking your bedtime, getting into bed early, uh, doing calming things to get into the sleep mode, have a good night's sleep, you will not feel the need to kickstart your day with an alarm or a tea or a coffee. I can't stress enough on how important it is to reduce our activities in the night so that we get our sleep, our, we get our sleep quota, because we are seeing a lot of people who exercise a lot, who go through a lot of stress. Just sleep deprivation has resulted in heart attacks and lots of other health problems just because the sleep quota hasn't been completed. We also notice that when we stay awake, you can't catch up on sleep necessarily by sleeping in the next day. It affects our productivity, our head doesn't feel as clear, our thinking is affected. All these reasons really, really make it very important for us to sleep on time, sleep for enough hours, and sleep with, without any light coming into our room. 
it's not required for our rooms to be pitch dark. But today in cities, we find lights coming through the windows. Um, it's nice to have natural light to wake up to in the morning. But at night, if you have too much of uh, light pollution around where you stay, then it would be important to just draw your curtains and keep the curtains not very thick so it doesn't black out your room. But having curtains would help to cut out the extra light. And when reading or listening to music, it would be good to have soft lighting rather than harsh LED or harsh tube light light, which gives the body the feeling that you're still that it still needs to function and it's still daytime. I've had a long day and it's time for me to go to bed. And I want to urge you to try and make 10 p.m. the ideal time to get to bed. Good night.